I've restarted me talking about this like eight times because <laughs> I don't know how to. And I feel like I'm very emotionally blunted to tragedy. And I feel like oftentimes I can come off as like, I don't give a shit. Um, but I am somebody that very much like grieves in private. I am somebody that very much like grieves in private. You're not going to catch my ass crying at a funeral, but I will bawl my fucking eyes out in private. Um, I do have, you know, thoughts and feelings about it. I just don't express them very well. Um, there's also the aspect of it, of just being absolutely surrounded and by people that are in active addiction, living in an area that has an epidemic of it. Um, it is running through my family. It's running through my friends. And you know, I've talked before about how uh, when you know someone is in active addiction, a lot of times, especially when you've dealt with it a lot, a lot of times you can detach yourself from it. You can detach yourself from it, from them, and you like mentally prepare for it. Whether you mean to or not, you are always prepared to see or hear that they have passed from it. Like the amount of times that I have heard that somebody passed away, they OD'd, I, I can't even in a calendar year tell you how many times I hear that. Not just from people that I'm like personally like friends with or related to, just like people that I grew up around, people that I knew, um, people that my parents were friends with, things like that. Um, I live in an area that's one of the worst areas of the country for uh, that stuff. Um, I don't know how to talk about this. So I have several people that uh, are subscribed to me on here that watch my videos that uh, live around me. I, I'm not from where I live. I'm from a ways away in a different state, but I can still get in my car and drive there. It's not that far. Um, well, it's, it's, it's not close, but it's not like driving you know states and states and states away um i also have like people on here that are, are like facebook friends with me that have seen the news articles they've seen the sheriff's department release like the press release about it uh and i just what the fuck what i uh, so on Sunday, I found out that I had two family members that passed away. And because I know them, I immediately, my brain immediately went to, they had OD'd. And that's just like literally immediately, I was like, okay, so they, they overdosed. Um, really, really early Monday morning, my sister was texting me. She was telling me all these rumors and everything like that. Um, Monday morning, I found out. And by the way, this was just like at the span of like a 12 hours. I found out that it was actually a house fire. And to me, I was shocked. I was surprised, but also I could wrap my head around that because those happen all the time. You know, those happen all the time. And, um, it's realistic. It's like, it's like hearing if somebody passes in a car accident, you know what I mean? It's, but I could wrap my head around it. Um, it's an awful way to go. And they both were entirely, entirely too young in their forties. Uh, for something, for any, for, to, to go in any way, to go in absolutely any way, they were too young for that. And then the entire time I'm having people like text me, like rumors of like what actually happened. And I'm seeing this shit on Facebook where people are writing like, you guys need to stop spreading rumors. Like I've seen some wild stuff and blah, blah, blah. Well, Tuesday shows up 
and the sheriff's department releases a like a statement and they say that both of them were actually gone before the house had caught on fire um and it was told to me by several of my family members that they were actually shot and the person who did it caught the house on fire to try to cover it up um the sheriff's department is like 99 percent sure who did it it's a person that i didn't grow up with them because they were older than me but they were around when i was growing up um that's really hard for me to wrap my head around i was fully and completely ready to accept an od i was shocked but it felt realistic for something like that to, like for their house to burn down that would be totally and completely realistic um for something like that to happen a house fire like the, the house did catch on fire but it wasn't what did it and then to be told that i was like Like, that's wild. I don't know. Like, I I don't know. I, I, I did my crying about it. I did my crying about it. I was close um, to my cousins when I was younger. One more so than the other. The guy more so than the girl. The girl I just saw, like, at family reunions and things like that. Um, the guy, I he was one of the people growing up that got me into like the alternative scene like he introduced me to punk music and he wrote a skateboard and i have a lot of like core memories uh from my childhood and i don't have i don't have many but i have a few and and he's there in them like one time when i was little i was at a dance at a fire department and he was there and he was a teenager and i was a little girl and um, he had this real, real long hair. He always kept his hair long. Even even up until he died, his hair was super long. He had his hair back in a ponytail. And he had on these baggy ripped jeans and these skateboard shoes. And this shirt that had a mushroom on it. You know, the mushroom shirts and shit from the 90s. And he picked me up and he was dancing with me. And I'll never forget looking around me and seeing these girls staring at me. And I thought, even little tiny me was like, I think they're jealous of me and this is my cousin. And I'm a little girl and he's a teenager. And I just think of like him. One time he had these, this pair of skateboard shoes and they were busted all the shit. So he cut the toe out of them and then cut the back off of them and made like slides out of them and like covered them with duct tape. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I just... <laughs> I think of things like that and it does make me sad, really, really sad, but he's not somebody that I've been close to since I was a teenager. Um, I've, he is yet another person in my life that I had detached myself from, uh, because, and, and have emotionally prepared myself to hear that they were gone for a long time. Um, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm very sad for their siblings and their kids and their moms and dads. Um, but I, I've done, I've done my fair share of just crying. And the thing about me is like, I more so grieve for the people that get left behind than the people that go. Cause I know it's hard to continue to go after somebody passes away and so I more so the way that I I view death is is awful for the people that get left behind I don't know I don't know I I had thoughts and feelings when I thought it was an OD I had thoughts and feelings when I thought it was a house fire and then they said what happened and I don't know I don't know
And I know that everybody's going to be like, take your time, blah, blah, blah. But I can't, guys, I can't. Because I'm already struggling to, like, do things and exist. And, and um, I feel like, you know, running my channel and, and things like that gives me a sense of normalcy. And uh, it's kind of coming and going in waves, as it often does with me. It comes and goes in waves. And I have a weird approach to grief. I'm very, like, blunted to it. After you've, you know, lost two of your kids, you, you kind of... Grief just kind of feels like more... I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm really bad at it. I'm really bad at it. And I feel like that can be perceived as like being insensitive and like I don't care, but I do. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, it felt really inappropriate to like slap this in a vlog or something. Um, I, but I wanted to address it. I wanted to address it because, you know, I was just kind of trucking along with it and, and doing things and just kind of accepting it and then yesterday i found that out and i know that there are people on here that follow me that also know that it has happened and i do care i just don't know how to express it i don't know how to express it and um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video i don't know if youtube's gonna keep the comments on oftentimes it shuts the fucking comments on or on off on videos that it thinks are gonna upset people but I'm not going to turn the monetization on and hopefully the comments don't auto get shut off and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.